Hey there everyone, welcome back. Now, uh, in the previous video, we have seen that how we can mark the to-do as complete. Now, in this video, we are going to see that how we can delete a to-do from our dashboard. So, here, this button mark as complete. So, we need to tweak a code a little bit. Now, this button will only be visible whenever the state of that status of that to-do is open. And when that status changed to done, we are going to replace this button with delete the to-do. So let's place a check here. Uh, ng if to-do dot status equal equal open and we are going to duplicate this button and we are going to place a check of done over here now delete to do mm, sorry delete to do we are going to implement this function very soon so replace this mark as complete with delete so let's implement this function delete to do it's gonna accept the id as a parameter this dot api service dot delete to do id dot subscribe response and in the error part, we are going to simply console log the error. Now in the response, whenever we get a successful response, we want to update the to-do store as well. So this dot to-do store dot update, we are going to pass a callback in which we will receive a previous state. And we are going to return a new state in which to do's will be state dot to do's dot filter t dot id not equal equal id and we are going to spread the previous state so this will basically remove the to do with this id from the array so it will filter out that to do there are various ways of achieving this functionality but i find this as a convenient way uh, you can go ahead with any of the way either you can use any of the libraries for example lodash to achieve this but let's keep it simple so let's test this out in the browser Uh, let's add a new to do to do to this is my second to do so we have added this to do now mark it as complete it changes to delete and whenever we delete this it's completely gone so now our to do app is working fine and it has all the functionality of adding the to-dos fetching the to-dos updating the to-dos as well as deleting the to-dos now i hope that the core concept of akita is clear to you now uh, if possible and if you will request in the comment section below i will uh, in next video i can teach you how to set up a um, continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline using travis ci mm. so it will be very helpful if you are going one level up so uh, if you request I'll, i can make it but so uh, as of now this is it from this series uh, i'll definitely catch you up in some other awesome series so till then bye